Hi, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. I am just shuffling while I do this because um, I'm going to do the Aquarius read right after this. Um, I just thought I'd pop on to explain um, why I've been a bit absent. Um, the tail end of last year got a bit crazy hectic. Um, I intended to make tarot a bit more of a priority. Um, I had the school that I was working as a dinner lady every day. And as you know, I work um, from home running my business, Cherry Blossom, at the same time. Um, it takes a good hour to get going with Cherry Blossom of a morning just to get the machines up and running and get in the flow of what I'm doing, what needs to be made, what orders are going out. Um, and it was getting to the point where I was just about getting up and running and then I had to wind back down again because obviously I had to leave for 12 o'clock to get to the school for lunch hours. Um, and then I was getting back at like somewhere anywhere between quarter to two and three o'clock for various reasons, not not what just work. Um, and then obviously cherry blossom. Then I had an hour at the most before I had to go and pick the kids up at ten past three. Leave at ten past three to go and pick the kids up. Um, it just all got a bit piled on, and I was trying to make YouTube videos in the hour between lunch, um, finishing work. I, I would sort of give up the cherry blossom hour. And just do a couple of reads in the break before I go and pick the kids up from school. And it all just got really hectic. Um, and then I got ill. The kids got ill. Um, and then there was a bit of pressure from work. Nothing major, nothing above what they should. Obviously, they were paying me to be in a role and I'm not in the role because it would be either me being ill, the kids being ill. And the kids have a right to have a certain level of cover. That can be relied upon for lunch hours so it was that and then there seemed to be about four weeks in a row where i didn't actually do a whole week at work because either as i say i was ill with a tummy bug or um i had um the main reason i stopped doing the videos was i got to a week where I, my throat i couldn't talk and i actually had to go on to antibiotics i had a throat infection and i was off work for an entire week i couldn't talk hardly i couldn't eat um and it just, everything all sort of culminated at that point. Um, I'm okay now, obviously. <laughs> but I decided um, at the tail end of November that um, I was going to leave the dinner lady job. Despite the amount of um, joy that it brought me with the kids. It was mainly the kids that I went in every day to see. And it's just an enjoy. <laughs> It's just an absolute pleasure to to be a dinner lady around those kids and see them all playing and having fun and and they're just it's a privilege to spend any time and have a window into any child's life that is just they just amaze me. But as it is, I decided I couldn't commit to the school because every time the kids were ill, as proved by the following weeks after, um, up to Christmas. With the kids ill, I can't go to work. There is no other childcare. I am the childcare. So if the kids are off ill, I'm off ill. If I'm ill, I'm off ill. Um, I'm not in work. So I just felt it wasn't fair to the school to do it. Um, and it's just as well I did because we then went into Christmas and my husband is chair of the PTA, Friends of School. And we had a few events coming up and loads of things to do for that. And he's about as organised he's not organized <laughs> um so i ended up doing some of his stuff for him with that um picking up the slack getting the tickets and things getting them ordered um attending the christmas concerts and stuff and then we had the christmas concert on the 18th of december and then on the 22nd 23rd we then had a polar express screening in the village where we everybody goes down in their pajamas and we all watch Polar Express together and we have hot chocolates and cookies at that point in the movie and everything anyway it's beautiful but anyway that then went on and then we're immediately into Christmas um 23rd was our wedding anniversary although we didn't really do anything I think we went swimming with the kids which was quite nice we didn't really celebrate our anniversary this year it's been a bit of a funny year um for us it didn't feel like we should celebrate it as such um and then um Christmas Eve comes along and my brother's come down with his pregnant wife to spend Christmas with us and um, my son breaks out in chicken pox on Christmas Eve. So 
so I was like I can't even do end of year reads for anybody and there's no point going on to say I will make them at any point because he had them bad bad um we had to go and confirm that it was chicken pox that day with my take him to the doctors get put in a side room and everything because you're contagious um just to confirm that it was because my brother asked us to confirm that it was definitely chicken pox and nothing else um it wouldn't have been because i've given my child every vaccine and that's my choice but i choose to give my child every vaccine because i think it's better to have the vaccine from my point of view than to have the actual disease that can have other repercussions and um yeah so he had chicken pox so christmas day was we went to my mum's boxing day we didn't really do a lot in fact we didn't do a lot actually between christmas and new year because xander really was um pickled for want of a better word with chicken pox there were about two or three days where he cried he was actually scared of the spots because he couldn't understand where they'd come from why they kept coming why they were all blistery and it just sort of freaked him out and it was more an anxiety sort of cry with him and then obviously it got itchy and it was crying because he wanted to itch um, so then we had New Year's Eve and we had our friends over for New Year's Eve because thankfully Xander had scabbed up and was all good by then. And then we had like a week the other side of it where we just sort of spent family time. And I thought, you know what, I'll just let everything go and I will kickstart everything when they go back on the 8th of January. I'll get back into work and then I'll get back into once the, you know, the Christmas backlog was cleared, I would come on and do tarot, which I'm doing today. But um, today is the 22nd of January, not the 8th of January, because on the 9th of Jan the 8th of January, I started clearing orders and everything was good. And I thought, you know what? Yes, this is amazing. 9th of January, I'm brushing Abby's hair and she's got chicken pox along her hairline. And then I think this is like literally five minutes before we leave the house and I'm going, she's the chicken pox. And then I check her tummy and her back and she's got them coming up on her back and her tummy and I'm like oh no this is chicken pox this is all I need um so then I check Ewan and thankfully in a way Ewan had them as well I literally checked him I took him in his school uniform to drop his brother off because I, I literally we were about to go out the door for school and we didn't have time for me to find anyone to take the other to take Xander so I had to take my children with chicken pox and Ewan was fully dressed in his uniform because I literally just checked him as we were about to go out the door and the spots were on him. So I had to take him down in his uniform to drop his brother off to school and his sister. Um, and then that was horrific. And Abby's went on. Ewan's came out thick and fast and he was covered. Everything below his neck and his to his knees, there was hardly, there wasn't an inch that wasn't covered on his torso. There wasn't an inch that wasn't covered um, on his torso and thighs. Um, he had them in between his toes. He had them everywhere. Um, his kind of cleared up within a week and he went back to school last Wednesday. So a week tomorrow, I'll go tomorrow. He went back. Abby, however, her spots, although hers came up first, we thought she'd got it quite mild. And we thought, oh, that's lovely. She can go back to school on Monday. By Sunday, Monday, more were coming out. And then she was proper pickled, but she really suffered because she, um, not through itchy or pain or anything, she just wanted to go back to school. She loves school and she, she just wanted to go back. But, um, so yeah, I had a rather depressed Abby that I had to entertain because if I left her on her own too long, she would sort of, I could leave her for like an hour, which is long enough to set the machine up and set an order going, uh, a design going on the machine. But it's not long enough to, um, to do any readings or anything and obviously she would call me at any point mom i need so and so and i can leave a machine running i can't stop a read halfway through so it's best when i have zone in the zone um and then this week i have been today and yesterday i've been catching up with orders that i didn't have a backlog well i did have a backlog but not such a backlog if that makes sense i had i've still got about 15 orders to do but that's about normal for me to do 15 orders in a day and a half so that's not i'm not worried about that and they've still got like two weeks officially maximum before they have to go out i'm so glad i set my shipping times to four weeks because that was just 
that could have gone the other way with them being poorly. But anyway, I thought you deserved a, an explanation for why I've, I've not been reading. Today is actually the first day that I've even, I've been doing my daily cards. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram on Magpie Moonchild. I, I was doing daily cards and then they stopped on the 8th of January. I think it was the 8th of January. They st I stopped posting them. I didn't stop doing them. I stopped posting them on Instagram because I didn't have time to sit because what I would do is I sit down in the morning with my cup of tea and I get the cards out and I read the cards and I go through what they reflect, what they mean for me. I'm currently going through the Lumina Tarot deck day by day. So I shuffled all the cards. I did a full shuffle and said, let me do these in the order you would like to the deck. And I'm doing them day by day as they come out through the Lumina Tarot deck. It's a really nice way to bond with this deck. It's a beautiful imagery. Um, but because obviously I sit... And I do that, it takes me a good hour to sit and go through the cards, do my how I feel about them, my meditation on them. Um, sit there and just look at the imagery, see what messages I'm getting from the card. And then I do the same with the Oracle card from the uh, Connected and Free Oracle deck, which is from Inner Hue as well. They're like the sister decks for each other. Um, well, to me, they're sister decks. They're probably, I don't know if they are, but they do blend beautifully together, actually. I get a lot of messages from the tarot card that directly relate to the oracle card that I'm pulling the same day. And I did the same thing with the oracle card, oracle deck. There's less cards, but um, tell me what I need, you know, what order you'd like me to look at them. And they're coming out and they're actually starting to feed each other um, to expand. So it's almost like the card gives me what I need to know and the oracle deck gives me advice for that day. It's quite nice, actually. Um... I am still doing that and I will be putting that back up on Instagram soon. Um, probably from tomorrow, just because I haven't. And what I will do is go back and do reflections. So day two, day 22, if that makes sense. Um, and then catch up like that. So I'll do a post each day to catch up until we're on the same day. Um, but I have been doing it. I just haven't been, I haven't been posting on social media, mainly because... I haven't had time to post on social media on top of, you know, sitting and reflecting with the cards is easy, but then I've got to go and find my phone and take a picture and then do the Instagram post and get the kids ready for school. And, and it just wasn't working um, because obviously I've had kids home. And I've been catching up, um, but that will be starting again on the Instagram. Um, the Facebook page, I just share. Um, I was getting a bit bored of posting quotes to my like inspirational day to day, wonderful quotes that I find um there's like barefoot five and um moon crystals and there's all these wonderful pages that have all this these wonderful um inspirational quotes or thoughts or things and word porn's quite good earth porn's got some lovely stuff because I love seeing jewels of the world on the on my screen every day it's quite nice um yeah so it's I've started sharing things to my Magpie Moonchild Facebook page instead of um, my personal page just because, I don't know, it felt like that was more to do with that side of my life, my Magpie Moonchild side of my life, my spiritual side of my life, rather than my personal Facebook, which is more about kids having chips up their nose <laughs> or um, my son going to school in an elf, knitted woolly elf hat this morning in the middle of January. Still waiting for the snow to arrive in January, but here in Devon, but there you go. Um, but anyway, so that's basically what's been going on with me and my life at the moment. I'm really sorry that this camera angle is really rubbish and the light is really rubbish. The light isn't very good here today anyway. Um, and I haven't got very good skin at the moment. I'm all broken out because I've just binged on chocolate and whatever I could grab the last two or three weeks. So it's going to be very much like water and more health. So basically my new year kick is starting now um but that's not bad because it's the start of the new new year so soon so yeah we'll we'll go we'll see that um and i actually set my alarm for the lunar eclipse because it was full total best you're ever going to see in 10 years here in 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 the uk and i set my alarm for 2 30 to go and have a look and it wasn't quite there so i said it again for four o'clock and it went off and my husband turned off the alarm 
and we didn't quite um, get to see it and it's full and I woke up at about um, I think it was five o'clock so we've been just past the peak but I should have seen still seen it and I couldn't see it from my window and it was I was just destroyed <laughs> because I should have been able to see it from my window I even got my stargazing app couldn't find it um, and it just was just too dark the street lights don't go on in my village very early and it, I just I was too scared to go out on my own in the dark, which is ridiculous because nothing would have happened to me in this village. But, um, yeah, I just was too scared to go outside on my own. He was supposed to come out with me with a cup of tea and have a look at it and see what's what. But I did manage to put my crystals out in it, so that's the main thing, that they got the, the full moon energy to cleanse them and recharge them. So, um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on with me the last couple of months. I don't think anything terribly exciting's happened. Um... No, we've just had chicken pox, lots and lots of chicken pox for about a month and just Christmas and life and now I just feel like my new year's starting now and I just know that I've got about three weeks before the kids are off again with half term but we'll go, we'll see how that goes. So I don't know what the videos are going to come up, um, how often, how regular I'm going to do it, I'm just trying to settle into a new routine without the dinner lady job. Um, be honest i'm getting far much more work done um i worked out that the financial thing wasn't i could potentially get more through the business from out of that hour if that makes sense that time that i i've been to it wasn't an hour though it, it always ended up being two and a bit hours that i was out of the house for and it was it just didn't make financial sense and it was getting to the point where I was letting them down because I've had, I was the childcare um, or I was ill because I was catching what they had. I just thought, you know what, this is, I don't, I don't need to feel bad, guilty, phoning up to say, they don't deserve it their end that I'm ringing up again to say I can't be, I can't come in because I've not got childcare for X, Y, Z child or I'm off ill or, and it just got to the point where I couldn't face it. It was causing anxiety in me to make that phone call and I was just letting them down. And I just thought, you know what? They deserve better. The kids deserve better. The school deserve better. They did nothing wrong by me as an employee as such. Um, and I just thought this is just not the way it's supposed to go. Um, so I've gone back into the cherry blossom sewing side. And I'm, to be honest, it's quite fun actually. I listen to the radio, I get new designs out, I feel like I've got my spark back a bit with it. Um, yeah, so it's it's quite nice. So hopefully, because I'm doing that, I should have a bit of time um, to get the readings done. Um, I think I'm going to focus the first two days of the week on um, the cherry blossom, clearing that out, and then give a couple of days for the orders to build up again for the Friday. And then I can read on the other two days because it does take a bit of time to do the readings. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, that's that's where I am at the moment. Hopefully I will have some reads up for you this week because I'm planning on spending tomorrow, if nothing else, on doing reads. And I will look a lot less rough than this, hopefully. Um, this is just jumping on to tell you what's what's been happening. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Love and light to you. Namaste.